Hey Dreamers, it's Thursday, which means it's time for a Steamwork Design and Build Challenge. I'm Meredith, the Director of External Affairs here at National Children's Museum, and we are so excited that you're here with us. So to all my engineering and building pals out there, I want to ask the question, have you ever built a really tall tower? And if you have, what sorts of materials did you use? Have you made a box tower? Have you made a Lego tower? Maybe when you were at the beach, have you built a sand tower? Here's one material that you may or may not have thought of. What about a spaghetti and marshmallow tower? Is that even possible? Well, today, for our design and build challenge, that's exactly the question that we're going to ask. How tall of a tower can you build using just spaghetti, marshmallows, and a little bit of tape? All things you might already be able to find in your home. So this challenge is great for my friends of all ages. Maybe today you're just going to free play and design with however many noodles and however long you'd like. But maybe you woke up and you were ready for a challenge. If you're looking to make this a little bit more difficult, think about limiting the amount of materials that you can use. Maybe you can only use 20 pieces of spaghetti and 20 marshmallows. Maybe that's not enough. Maybe you also want to limit the time that you have to make the tower. So maybe you're making the tower in 10 minutes. Maybe you're making a tower in five minutes. For today's video, I'm just going to free play and design, but I hope that you choose to do whatever sounds most fun and challenging to you. So here's the stuff I'm going to use today, dreamers. First, I have some dry spaghetti. Any long shape will work. It could be fettuccine or angel hair, just something that has those nice long strands. And if you don't have any pasta or you can't spare any from the pantry, think about using some other material that is nice and long, maybe like a pencil. You may also want to cut the length of your pasta, so you should have some scissors on hand. Make sure that you're being safe and using them with an adult. I also have marshmallows because I'm going to be using those as my sticky little connectors. I also have tape, just in case. I'm using scotch today, but you can use any type painters, duct, whatever you have on hand. So before I start building Dreamers, I want to remember the design process, which is going to help me build the best tower that I possibly can. So my question is, how big or tall of a tower can I create just using spaghetti and marshmallows? And I did a little bit of research, and I found out that triangles are the strongest shape to build with. Which means, as I think about my design, I should probably try to use as many triangles or prisms, which are 3D triangles, as I can into my design and into my tower. So with that piece of information, I'm actually going to get my creative juices started and I'm going to put pen to paper and make a design. All right, dreamers, with a plan in place, I'm now gonna get this pasta party started and start to build my tower. So one thing to note about spaghetti is that it's really brittle and fragile, which means it's going to break sometimes. And that's okay. I'll just make another one and keep on moving. Here's my base, six triangles. Okay, dreamers, I snapped something that I think is structural. You can see it right here. I'm just gonna use some tape and see if that will help.
dreamers. I had so much fun making this tall tower. As you can tell from my design, I used entirely triangles in order to build this tall. So like a good engineer, I'm gonna to continue to think about my design process. My last question is, how can I make this better? If I were to build this tower again next time, I would wanna see if maybe I could make another stable layer out of triangles. I hope that you, that you join me to design your own tall tower out of spaghetti and marshmallows. And we can't wait to see what magic you create. So make sure that you upload your videos and photos to Facebook and then tag us for a chance to be featured in next week's design build challenge. And always remember dreamers, Steamwork makes the dream work. And we cannot wait to see you again soon. So tune in tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. for a nature spotlight. Have a great day and thanks so much.